Um, the opening, which is an overview, pieces from Dimmick, Pennsylvania, which is very close to here, about 60 miles away, which has not been seen. A chapter from, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to do the chapter rundown while we have a last popcorn break. We don't think you have enough popcorn. So, if you can notice, the <laughs> Dan is bicycling away feverishly to create popcorn for you. So please, five minutes, short break, while the popcorn is being made. Is it? Dan, how long does it take to get ready? You can't hear over the sound of popcorn. So, if you want more popcorn, <laughs> it doesn't take long. Um, step right up, get some popcorn, make yourself comfortable. Um, I don't mind talking over the sound of the popcorn. Can everybody, everybody can still hear me, right? Yeah. Okay, so, as you know, about a year ago, I went to a meeting of a courageous group called the Damascus Citizens. Um, and they... Uh, they alerted me to the coming uh, possible, I like to say possible because I don't believe it's inevitable, uh, problem of the takeover of this entire area by gas filling. I didn't really believe what they were saying to me. I didn't think it could quite be as bad as that. Um, but then when I got on the road to make this film, and I traveled to 34 different states, you're going to see footage from about five different states tonight, um, I found that it was a lot worse than what they were saying, actually. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to give too much away, uh, but you'll see for yourself um, tonight, hopefully. And we will do a question and answer afterwards. Um, and you're also free to hang out. I think there's more music after the movie. Um, and just to enjoy the river. And the lamps. That's an amazing thing to see. Also, one of the reasons we wanted to do this showing tonight, and there will be flyers handed out to you, is because this area is the Delaware River Basin. And the Delaware River Basin is overseen by the Delaware River Basin Commission, which is a five-member body, five commissioners, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and a representative from the federal government. And they control the permitting of gas drilling uh, and the water withdrawal for gas drilling. And they're having a meeting in Hawley at 10 a.m. on a Wednesday morning, September 23rd, about two weeks from Wednesday. Um, I think it's going to be important to show up at that meeting, if what you see today yeah. at the film inspires you to do so. But we will be handing out information about that meeting to you, or at least to write to them, uh, with your questions, concerns, opinions, and so forth. Um, but that's important, and that's coming up. And there are permits for water withdrawal from energy companies that are sitting on their desks right now, and they're going to decide on them within the next month and a half. So it's really urgent. If you do, if you are interested, in uh, the issue. I'd like to let the film fit, speak for itself and then speak after it. But um, I just wanted to say while well, we have the capacity crowd that we do tonight, which is amazing, right at the outset, DRBC, September 23rd, 10 in the morning at the Lake Wall and Paw Pack Learning Environmental Center in Hawley. It's very convenient for us. Yeah. Um, so hopefully Barbara and other folks are around with those uh, pamphlets. And they're also on the back of the Water Under Attack flyer, if you got one of those. The information is right there. Okay, Dan, how are we doing? We're done. Okay. So I'm going to put this microphone to the side and turn off these lamps, and hopefully the remote control will work. And we'll get to watch the movie. Okay, thank you. Uh, before we show the last sequence that we're going to show tonight, which is about the health effects of uh, gas drilling, um, featuring Dr. Theo Colborn, who a lot of you know who she is. Um, I just wanted to reiterate, we'll do a Q&A afterwards, um, but breaking news since the editing of this segment, 
Uh, John Fenton, Louis Meeks, and Jeff Locker's water wells were tested by the EPA, which hasn't happened so far because as of the 2005 energy bill, the EPA was told hands off, uh, don't look at hydraulic fracturing. And they discovered conclusively that these chemicals were migrating into the water. So that's a, that's a big breakthrough. It's not good news, particularly, um, you know, but it's, it, it does tell us that we're not crazy, um, that this is actually happening. Um, and that's an unprecedented thing that uh, since the last DRBC meeting wasn't known. So I just wanted to say one more time, get one of those flyers, if you can, Wednesday, September 23rd at 10 o'clock in the morning in Hawley. It's not far from here. Um, it's just down six from Homesdale. Uh, is the DRBC meeting where some portion of the fate of this re region will be decided. And I, I suggest that you uh, attend. Um, or write them an email or a letter. Uh, they haven't really publicized that meeting too heavily on their website. They've kind of buried it. I wonder what that's about. Um, but uh, it is happening Wednesday, September 23rd, 10 o'clock in the morning. Thursday? No, it's a Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's a Wednesday. Um, but, okay, the other thing I wanted to do briefly before we go into this health effects sequence um, is pass the hat. This movie costs a lot of money to make, and we are a little bit in debt. Um, plus, Dan's gas and the thousands of extension cords and things that people <laughs> brought over here. Um, and uh, we do have a basket. There's Monica in the Drilling Reform in Texas t-shirt and Melissa. So if you feel like uh, this was a good thing, you want to give a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars uh, towards the expenses of tonight, I'd really appreciate it. We all would. Or if you're interested in making a large donation and want to become a producer of this movie, um, see me afterwards. Uh, we are a tax-deductible nonprofit corporation, um, uh, the international oil company that produced this film. Um, also, I wanted to give a plug for Damascus Citizens, which is taking on the legal effort and the legal campaign. Um, they're an incredibly worthy organization to donate money to. Um, and if you think about what this means in the long term, if this does happen, and I do believe that we can win and prevent it from happening, uh, and you own property in the area, this is uh, pretty much going to destroy the value of anyone's home. I mean, most people who have gas wells near them can't sell their houses, and they can't live there anymore. So this is a real threat. So any of the organizations that are fighting uh, to spread awareness and to do legal action about the gas drilling, I would suggest um, do something, volunteer, sign up, make a donation. Um, uh, DCS, Catskill Mount Keeper. Uh, or the film. Okay. Um, so I'll be around, I guess, for a Q&A afterwards. Um, not a long one, uh, but uh, I'm going to show this uh, last segment of the lamp. Um, so we're going to go around with the flyers now and sign up sheets. I'm going to do my best David Byrne right now. Um, so first of all, I wanted to thank several people. Again, Dan Brinkerhoff, for this unbelievable piece of machinery and piece of art right here. The mobile movie theater and the mobile popcorn <laughs> maker. Um, also to the Eisenberg's Day store who helped us out all day. And to Liz Bukar who did an amazing job with Light of the Delaware. Um, we were a little worried you wouldn't be able to find aisles, but there's sort of natural aisles created by this, these candles and it certainly made for a terrific shot over here. Um, we're in progress, uh, obviously, and it's a cliffhanger. If you remember a million years ago, back to that jar of fluid that I got in Dimmick, uh, we did test that jar, and we did find that it had some really bad stuff in it. Um, essentially what it was was fracking produced water that comes up out of the well that comes up by the millions of gallons and nobody knows what to do with, and uh, it was being dumped in a stream, and we showed that it had the detergents in it and uh, barium, aluminum, heavy metals, all sorts of toxics. Um, and so that will be revealed later in the film. And I go to John Hanger at the DEP and offer him a glass of water from Dimmick and he won't drink it. So we actually did a 45 minute long interview. The DEP, Department of Environmental Protection, um, here in Pennsylvania. Uh, so I wanted to open up for questions. And obviously, you know, 
get your feedback on what's working, what's